Okay, yes, and welcome back, uh, folks. The Div 1 Grand Final, Hickey Park, Wollstone Grange, 2021. Springwood versus the Caloundra Panthers, and uh, we're about to enter the third quarter. Jack Barry, got Jack Barry, it's Danny Craven, uh, and Jack Barry calling this afternoon. And um, it, well, what's been an entertaining first half, but one that's been quite comfortably uh, compiled by the Springwood Pumas, 6 9 45 leading the Calandra team, 2-4-16. It's a 29-point ball game, and um, Jack, it'd be fair to say it's going to take something special from Calandra in the second half. Yeah, they're really going to have to try and get that ball down as quick as they can to uh, Kelleher up forward, who's probably been their most dangerous looking forward. But, um, you know, the way that the defence has held up so far, um, Springwood, they've been, they've been good. But, you know, to the credit, the, the uh, Panthers were out very quick. They had a short half-time break. They were out there early. Uh, they've been in as a tight group, so there's... It's do or die. Already in the third quarter, they say, Danny, this is the this is the premiership quarter. They do, mate. Yeah, from uh, way back in the Carlton, uh, the Carlton Blue days, mate, back in the early 80s when uh, the Dominator used to dominate in the third quarter. But uh, certainly uh, this afternoon, it's going to take something special. But they're only 29 points down. It's not insurmountable. It's a hot afternoon. They've got running legs. Can they do it, folks? Let's see. As the two 17s go up, it's Gus. Oh, sure. We, uh, at halftime, Jack, of course, we raced around and tried to find uh, Gus Oshuru Oshaw's surname. Um, we're going to go with Oshaw for the rest of the afternoon. It's a number 42 in the Navy jersey for Springwood as it goes forward here. Kicked out this time by Dan Hunt, the new inclusion from the second semi final as he goes forward. Howard uh, Hayden House and Nathan Davis for Caloundra go one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. No one can take it. Zufa, the old hands of Zufa, out to back out to Davis now across half-back. Goes up onto the central wing. It's, uh, it's met beautifully by J.K. Keller, who, who starts off where he left the first quarter, where he was one of the best on the ground in that first quarter for Caloundra. On to his captain, Watson, who's had a good first half as well. He drives inside 50, and they really need a lift here in the early stages. It goes forward, knocked down by Nathan Murcott from Springwood, the number three, and uh, it's across the boundary line, 30 metres around from Caloundra, Panthers goal, Jack, and uh, a good start from them, you would have to say, if they're going to get in back into this game. Yeah, the, the ball needs to be in the hands of Watson and Kelleher, a couple of really dangerous players for the Panthers, a nice tap out the back when it's picked up by by um, Springwood, and a quick handball for Page, Page under pressure, gets his handball away over the top, and then Springwood trying to clear the ball, but the ball will be rushed out of bounds and over the line. 45, 45 plays 16, early stages of the uh, third term. And uh, both Ruckman have been actually quite mobile, Ruckman, uh, today. And they're both the 17s in Page and, um, and Jacobson. Up they go. Page gets a big fist to the ball, but it spills over the back. But the numbers favour um, Caloundra. A left foot into the middle of the ground. Can they get in front of the spot? And the ball's about to back. Here's a chance now for uh, Calandra. He'll have to hurry up on the left foot. He kicks high into the forward line, but it's offline and one behind as, uh, as uh, Quentin Ross probably gets one of his early first touches for the day. And they probably need a lift from him, Danny. Yeah, it certainly do. Quinny Ross been well held in that first half, but a good, good effort by him. Pushed his opponent on the ball and had a shot on goal. Probably... Really, for Calandra's sake, needed to kick that one, but uh, it'd be good to see him get into the game. They're going to need him in this second half if they're to uh, challenge it all as Rowan Page goes long, the big long bomb up inside the front half for Springwood. Looking for uh, the forwards there. No one can quite pick up the ball. The pressure's good early. Another little fumble there from Springwood. Calandra in. And uh, the umpire's paid a free kick there on this occasion to Nathan Davis. The youngster, young local uh, fella, back to the club this season, being pretty good with the job this afternoon on Hayden House. Goes forward there, I think this might be Jacob Watson with the football. Again, the captain of the footy club is going to need a big half if he's going to lift his side to victory this afternoon. Jacobson, good in the third, on to Zufa. All the usual suspects all getting their hands on the footy, but it ends up out of bounds uh, across half forward for Calandra. In fact, it's out of bounds on the full, the umpire says. And the free kick looks like it's going to go to Mark Thompson, the veteran for the Pumas. Had a good afternoon, first half. Been pretty solid. Kicked a goal in that second quarter, did Mark Thompson. Coming off half back, and he goes forward now and finds his teammate there, the left footed, uh, might have been Preston Smith, was it? I'm not quite sure. As it comes down now, might be Bain. I'm not sure who kicked that. He gets a go. He's not too happy with his kick. Might have been the big burrito page, uh, and in fact, it was. And um, the ball is out of bounds on the full. That fluky breeze uh, remains. Clowns will get away with it. Out to Tim Kimberley. 
He was hot in the first quarter, not so much in the second. They need a lift from the Kimberley Twins as he kicks it immediately to his twin brother. Gets a handball back. Here it is. It's Kimberley Town. As we go, another. that's another 2-2 touch from the brothers. As they go further here, looking for uh, now Jacob Watson. And they're the players they're looking for a lift from. And they free kick, Danny. did beautifully there, but uh, to no avail as the free kick comes out now to the number 33 in Matthew Ryan, the, uh, the mate of... Um, uh, the great mate of uh, Dan Hunt from up Rocky Gladstone Way. He kicks it forward and it goes over the boundary line 20 metres out from the Springwood goal, Jack. You can see, Danny, they're trying to take the game on. The Kimberley boys trying to run and carry, bring other players into the game. They want to rock, try and run Springwood off their legs, but again, just a little bit of ill discipline behind play and they stop the momentum that they're trying to force. So we'll start up again back in the uh, deep in the forward line for Springwood. Umpire throws the ball in. Tapped out this time, Jackson grabs, uh, grabs the ball out of the ruck, a handball, it's free. Looks like Howes is there trying to get the ball out. The pressure's there, he's got a quick kick away down the line. Can they get the ball? And they will be first to the ball is Calandra. A quick little kick, the boy says, uh, claiming it's come off the, uh, it's come off Springwood's foot in, the, in regards to Page, and it'll be a free kick going to Flanders. Flanders in front of the big crowd here today. Gives himself some room. Nice hit up lead, but he's kicked to a two on one. Spills out the back. Good handball. Here's a chance for Watson on the left foot. He's got a big kick there, but the numbers are suiting. Um, uh, that looks like that might be uh, Murcott. Murcott. Murcott over the top. Here's a chance for Page. Page a smother, a nice Great smother start. there by uh, Watson. Watson. He's played well captain. today. Yeah, he's been good. The captain's flying the flag at the moment. Um, what would you expect more from a captain of your footy club on grand final day? But uh, it's okay to talk about it, but Jacob Watson has actually been producing. He had a great first half, and he start to this third quarter. He doesn't want to go down without a fight. As, uh, as it comes back now to Sponic, he drives again out of defence, a big long kick inside 50. Jake Kerbel, who really come alive in that second quarter, takes him on. He's quicker than he looks too, is Kerbel, and it's a beautiful kick into inside 50 to Jordan Bain, who's presented all afternoon and given his uh, opponent the runaround, Isaac Richardson, for some of it. And uh, he's going to have his shot on goal. He's kicked three for the afternoon, two in the first and one in the second quarter. And he's going to have another crack at it here for Springwood to see if he can register the first goal after half time. And Calandra will certainly be hoping he doesn't succeed in that as he shoots from nearly nigh on 50, 48 metres. He's normally a good kick of the footy. And in this occasion, it's no different as he put, raises the arm halfway through the kick. Kicks his fourth goal for the afternoon, does Jordan Bain. And what a magnificent kick, Jack Barry. The seventh for Springwood uh, Puma, 7-9-51, leading Calandra with 2 5 17. What a great kick from 49, 50 metres on the boundary. Yeah, beautiful kick. And the work was done up the ground by, uh, your, uh, by Jake Keeble. Got in front of his opponent and with leg speed was able to burn him off and then deliver a nice kick under pressure out in front. Easy mark for, um, for uh, um, Bain to take a mark. And then a beautiful high kick allowed for the win to go through and put through his fourth. 7-9-51, leading Calandra 2 5 17. It's made a difference, hasn't he, Bain? He's kicked yeah. four of the seven. You wouldn't say he is the difference because Springwood have been so dominant in most areas, but he has certainly had a good afternoon so far as... Uh, as he, once again, uh, Zufa gets the ball long and high, left foot. Watson can't quite take it. Um, it's brought to ground. They're battling hard, uh, the Panthers. Uh, it's their only chance to start in the game, and they win the result here. They've, they have lifted their work rate. It's a captain again, Jake Watson. Goes forward, drives it long. It's a great-looking kick inside 50. Looking for his teammate Beautiful. there, coming out from full forward in, uh, in Polkey. And Brock Polkey takes the mark. Had an opportunity in the first quarter. And hasn't really been sighted much since, but uh, back from the concussion, missed the preliminary final last week, did Brock Polkey. But if ever they needed a goal, Jack Barry, uh, it would be right now, seven minutes into the third quarter of a grand final, they trail by some five goals. As he goes on goals, it's important he kicks it, and it's just kept to the right the whole way, unfortunately for him and Calandra. And it's just the behind. Two goals, 6-18, trailing Springwood, seven goals, 9-61. And uh, Mark Thompson to bring the footy back in for the Springwood side, Jack. Thompson, the veteran, Hall of Famer at Springwood, drives the ball long down the line through the middle of the ground. The pack set themselves. And a good strong mark in the middle of the ground. That's a good mark there to uh, Magori. Magori kicks the ball, looking for Bain again. Gets out in front, can't take the mark. 
Richardson's right on his hammer and the ball will spill out of bounds and over the line. So Watson done such a good build up to, to, to try and get their first goal on the board after uh, half time, but unfortunately Porky couldn't uh, kick the goal. So now the, the story is it ends up down the other end of the ground and it could be a, uh, and a crucial chance for um, Springwood to kick the next goal. I'm sort of get the impression, Jack, if they kick the next goal, it, it really dampens Caloundra's enthusiasm yeah. almost too much, doesn't it? You know, you'd like to think Caloundra really need to kick that next goal to keep the dream alive. Otherwise, it, it might be uh, gates all shut. Here's yeah, the ball in the pressure line, trying to get the ball out. Has tap, Richardson tackles him without the ball, Bane. They kick across the face of goal, and they're taking a mark. So they're taking some risks. They've got numbers if he wants to handball the ball, but this is uh, Naninga's going to take the ball himself. Now he handballs to his teammate, and they've got the ball on the outer wing. Run and carry. Drives along the forward line. Oh, he let the ball bounce, yeah, and of course kick. that does not play well for um, for Springwood. They jump on the ball, and the ball we bounced. You just think that that little um, that good little bit of play from Clowns out of defence via Naninga into Kimberley's hands. Take a bounce, take a second bounce, son. Because if you're going to take it up to Springwood this afternoon, you've got to run your legs. You've got to look to run over the top of them. It's probably your only real chance to be able to do that. And you've got arguably some calibre players there that can achieve it on the running uh, side of things. As they go forward here now, goes forward uh, to Springwood. Springwood now need to play on. They need to play on quickly. As Zufa, that's in the right hands, left foot to the hot spot. In towards uh, Watson, couldn't quite take it, but Dan Kelly's there. He gets wrapped up in a ripping tackle, but Caloundra will stay alive through the agency of Carroll on the left foot, drives it forward. They can't take it. Springwood still with the numbers. Caloundra need to lock it in. They need to somehow find a way to score as it comes back out with a uh, big left-footed one that bounces nicely for Springwood. And in fact, uh, it's going to go uh, back to Springwood and Dan Zufa, who has had a, a good five minutes, gets the footy, drives it inside, 50, bang towards Polky, under underruns the football, can't quite take it, comes out now, Springwood under pump, they need to do something with this Caloundra, if they possibly can, they can't seem to get it, Springwood's defence is holding up, and in fact, uh, it was holding up until Trent Flanders decided to say, thank you very much gentlemen, I'm going to lay a magnificent tackle, Jack Barry, well, that's great. and he, he laid a great tackle, 30 metres out, and Trent Flanders, now I don't know if he's captain this club, but he's been... Uh, He's been part of his club's fabric and soul for many years. Um, when they were down and out and perhaps not as successful as what they are this year, um, he's been part of it. He's been a real stalwart of the club. Wouldn't it be great if he could kick a goal at the 11-minute mark of this third quarter? As he comes in, 30 metres out, he has a shot. It's a must-needed goal, and he's just pushed it to the right again. Again, Polky's missed. Flanders missed. And these are goals that just you can't afford when you're five goals down on a grand final in a third quarter, Jack, on a hot Queensland afternoon, 30 degrees. You just need to make those goals. So well, Four goals v seven goals is a whole different story, but it's seven goals v two. Here we go now. As they'll bring the ball back into play and they'll kick it long. They'll try and clear the ball out of sight of their forward 50 into the, into the members' wing. No one can take a mark. The pack fly onto the ball. Here's a chance now for... Um, Look at Sponic, he's been hard and tough at the ball all day. Handball over the top. He's a, trying to keep the ball. Zufa tries, has a mid-air swing, can't get it. But the numbers are favouring Springwood. Handball back, that's by the big Jacobson. Now they've got the ball. Springwood again, they've got time. A right foot kick down the line. No one can take the mark, but the numbers suit. Uh, that looks like it's um, Mason. Mason in the middle of the ground. Oh, he's got too much on it. And it's the brilliant page, takes a mark, a right foot kick. Drives it down the line, here's a chance, and a great mark taken there, down there by Keeble, and he's been a busy four today, Danny. Yeah, he's been good, without being spectacular, he's been very solid across the three quarters so far, and gee, uh, what a shame there for um, young Luca Mason, he had to pull the trigger, it was, a, it was a poor kick in the end, and it was to a very dangerous spot, and, and cut off by Rowan Page to then hit Keeble, but... He sort of had to pull the trigger. When you're down five goals, you've got to play those sorts of shots. So unfortunately for him, didn't pay off as Keeble comes in and puts through a fairly big dagger, you would say, into the Caloundra heart this afternoon and uh, kicks his first, Jake Keeble. Sorry, it's his second goal, yep. Jake Keeble. Did kick one in the second quarter. And uh, it's Springwood's 8-9-57, eight, eight, leading 2-7-19. It's blown out to 38 points and... 
Uh, I know we were speaking about it before, Jack, but that, that's going to make things very tough from here, 13 minutes into the third quarter. Yeah, I don't want to be Captain Obvious, but, you know, big games, you've got to kick your goals. No better pressure than scoreboard pressure. And they've had their opportunities, so they'll be ruining those, those missed set shots. Uh, and then again, Spring would go forward and they kick theirs. And that's probably the difference um, in that part of the game. But certainly, uh, they've sort of controlled probably the majority of the game. But full credit to Calandra. They're certainly trying their best, but it's just not going their way. But it's another clearance out of there. That's by O'Shea. He's, he's had a good game. Kicks it forward, but Richardson takes a strong mark in defence. He kicks it out wide. The sun's in his eye, but Zuva takes a mark. He'll look to go onto his left. Turns in board. He'll have to kick dangerously to try and get them back into the game. Looking through the middle of the ground. It's a nice kick and it's well weighted. A good mark there by Spring in the middle of the ground. Spring plays on. He's going to move it quickly down the line. Looking here for the captain in Watson. He can't take the ball. Spools over the top. Umpire says play on. Uh, handball back. Watson's going to have to swoop on the ball again. He's going to be right under pressure by Thompson. Oh, it's in the back. Play on's a call. He keeps it alive. Sponek. He'll put his head over the ball. Doesn't know another way. But it's swooped on there by Coluccio. Kicks the ball forward, but in the last line of defence, he's been pushing back in defence to help out all day, is Page. Yeah, Rowan Page, the, the smart old-timer Rowan Page. Not as old as he looks, folks, uh, but he's a, a very clever footballer and been doing it for a long time at Springwood as he gives it to his captain there in uh, uh, Mark Thompson. Comes out to Watson. My apologies there, folks. I've got to... Something in the eye there for a brief moment. Luca Mason on to Kimberley. It's an exciting part of the game, though, as Kimberley fires on goals and again under pressure. And you've got to give credit to Springwood, ultimately, for being the strong side they've been today. But every time Caloundra put the foot down and they've been having a good crack this quarter, Springwood come up with a defensive pressure act that just makes it that bit harder and, and it's contributed to those three or four behinds that Caloundra haven't been able to quite put through. As the ball comes out, out to Gus O'Shaw, back to Gus O'Shaw, Shugru, whatever it might be. As it goes forward, up onto the wing there. 44 is in, Zufa overran it. Comes back to him. Can't quite take it. Davis, now in, now in the hands of Springwood. Going forward inside 50. Overcooked the kick. But Frizz takes a great half volley. He's ridden into the ground by his direct opponent. Up I said, play on. And let's let the ball go. As it comes out of half back, it might be Mason. I can't see who it is in there. It's pretty thick in the clinches as it comes through now. Springwood dropped the footy. There's probably two or three free kicks. The umpire says let it go, and so they should on grand final day. As it comes out now with a kick from Hooper off the ground, Nathan Davis picks it up. The young fella from, from Caloundra, he can't quite keep it in play. Umpire says out of bounds. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He says play on, and Mason goes. A stroke of luck for uh, Caloundra is J.K. Kelleher gets his second touch for the quarter, goes long. Nice mark, nice kick, nice considered play but they really need a bit of chaos ball here, the Panthers, to start scoring goals, you would think. Have they got one last effort? Time running out. Big kick down the line. No one can take the S. is a good, strong mark. Do you pay that? Zufa. Zufa on the centre wing. Goes on the left foot. And there's a nice kick finding Watson. Oh, he's dropped the mark. He's overcooked it. Now it's swooped on by Porky. Handball's a quick count. He's under pressure. Can they get a good pressure by the defence? And this has been the story today. That you've got to say the defence has really stood up the experienced back line, and it'll be a free kick to, um, that'll be uh, Hampson in defence. Hampson's going to bring it on the outer wing, goes on his kick, it's probably got too much on it, spills out the back. Now here's a chance here for um, Kimberley. He swoops on the ball, can't put pages on him, what's the experience, he puts himself in front and he wins the footy, and he kicks it going his way, handball up high, there's numbers are suiting Calandra, he gets tackled in the back, and the umpire says on the shoulder, free kick Calandra on the outer wing. Calandra, Left foot kick in the middle. Here's a chance now here for, that looks like it's uh, Brad Kimberley. Play on the call, give it to his brother. He steadies onto the right foot, over the top, and he finds a nice little teammate, and then uh, can't quite pick up, that might be Spring, is it? Not too sure. And then the outer, in the forward pocket there. And they need the next one. Goes in short, it's a nice kick, and he's found his teammate in Luca Mason, and Mason will have a shot about 35, 40 metres out from goal. I'd say he'd be about 40 metres out goal on a slight angle. Yeah, Jack, well, we've spoken about it all quarter, and we're 17 minutes into this third quarter, uh, where the game's on its precipice. Springwood have virtually, the fat lady starting to sing, and Caloundra have needed to convert their opportunity. They've had as much of the play this quarter as what Springwood have. They just haven't converted. They've kicked the three behinds, four behinds. They now need to convert now through Luca Mason, just to keep the dream partially alive as he shoots from 45, leans back 
marginally on. It's not a bad looking kick. It comes to the goal square, gets boot, beaten, uh, taken out by the Springwood defence. So beautiful work from them. As Mark Thompson, busy as ever this afternoon, drives it long onto the wind, goes over the back, finds another 30 metres on the kick as Keneally knocks it forward, but the ball's going to come back, it looks like, to Rowan Page. That man again, who's lifted his rating in this third quarter, the Premiership quarter, Rowan Page, uh, will get the free kick. Centre wing for the Springwood side as he weighs up options. He's in no rush. They, ha they lead a have a commanding lead of 37 points in this third quarter. As gets punched away, Nathan Davis can't take it. Kimberley's in there for the Caloundra team. As the ball uh, is wrapped up and the umpire says, give it to me, we'll have a boundary, th uh, a ball up. Some 50 metres out, half forward flank for Springwood team. Up they go. Jacobson v McGrory. Jacobson comes out with it. No free kick, says the umpire. Comes out further there. Through the agent McDonald. Couldn't quite break clear. The wingman for Springwood, the local fella, one of 11 or 12 locals playing today as Howes goes long. It's a long bomb at goal and Mark chopped off at the post there by Isaac Richardson. Last line of defence, Jack. Richardson goes short in the back pocket. It's a fumble. They need to clear the ball quickly. Drive it along on the outer wing. Ball might spill over the top, but it's a good defence. And that's a strong mark there to Calandra go inside, in the middle, looking for Naninga. Naninga in the middle of the ground. He needs to move the ball quickly. There's a ring, ring in the changes. He handballs to his teammate, but a quick little fumble and puts himself under pressure. Now he's got time under the left foot. Drives along the line. Up they go. Oh, solid was Murkart running straight through the ground. But again, the defence is solid, handballing to each other, and they'll clear the ball. The ball will roll out of bounds and over the line, right in front of the crowd here at uh, Hickey Park. Yeah, gee, it's... Uh... They've been good, Calandra, this, this quarter. They're, probably their midfield's been on top of Springwood, to be fair to say. Probably inside 50s, marginally in front. But the defence of Springwood, just a little bit too good for the forwards of Calandra, it's fair to say. They just can't seem to break away. They're not playing in front enough. Uh, Polky and co. are not really getting the edge. Callagher has lost a little bit of what he had in that first quarter. And they're just not getting but the agency of Polky, Carroll, Callagher. Um, Springwood have just got their measure. As it comes down here to Davis, Davis drives it forward. Looking for, looking for his teammate there in Hahn. Hahn can't take it. Ross can't lay the tackle. Goes forward. Balls down in, in front here. Kelly with a little, with a little uh, give. And he's going to get a free kick for being held after the handball, Dan Kelly. Uh, he's been OK this uh, good second quarter from young Dan. Kicked a goal. Out to young Hahn now. Hahn kicks it forward looking for Carroll. Or well, Mason, is it? It's Luca Mason. He's been okay. He's kept trying this afternoon. He kicks it forward, looking there for somebody. Callagher or Polky, neither of them could get through on that score. Flanders in there, puts some good forward pressure on. Can't lay the smother. Goes forward. Keneally ends up with a footy across half-back. And Spring would come out again, Jack, out of defence, unscathed. Keneally goes out wide, giving his uh, teammate in, um, I think that's King, some, some time and space. King goes short over the top, looking for uh, Ryan. Bouncing on the ball, Ryan says it's settled himself. Now we go inside 50. It's a long kick. Looking there for uh, Bain. Can't take the mark. Richardson t claims the mark. Umbo is off hands. Play on the call. And they wrap him up and throw the ball up uh, inside the forward 50 for Springwood. 8 9 57 leading to 8 20 in the favour of the Springwood Pumas. Looking forward to their fifth grand final win if they can. The first, fifth premiership flag. There's a quick kick up the ground. Howes. Howes again. Is a dangerous Howes. It goes through for one behind. He's had three behind so far today. So uh, Doesn't need a lot of the footy, Jack, to no, hurt you, does Howes. But as you say, he hasn't quite put it on the scoreboard this afternoon. But you're right, he looks he looks dangerous. Zufa to bring the ball back into play. The old champ. Drives the ball. Someone's gone down on the ground. Um, ball rolling out of play. And the ball's gone out of bounds. So uh, something might have happened there behind play as a player not in the best of health and they'll throw the ball in on the outer wing umpire to uh, throw it in up they go good tap out at the back now they're trying to rove the ball out now it's a quick kick they're just trying to scramble that ball forward Calandra but there's defence and the, uh, the contest the winning the footy around the contest today Spring would have done pretty well They've thrown everything at them, but they haven't been able to kick their goals, and Spring would have been able to answer everything that they've dished up to them. Up they go. Good tap out over the top. 
No one can get a clear kick away. Just trying to get the ball out to some speed. Here's a chance now. And then uh, we kick the ball forward. Just, just two players are running into each other. So everyone's trying to uh, get their hands on the ball. No one can get a clear kick away. Again, it's a bit of a uh, scrappy little couple of minutes. And our pie will ball the ball up. So Jack, it's uh, 23 in. Caloundra have thrown everything at them. They've had a good crack. Their midfield's probably been on top this quarter, arguably. They just can't crack the, the tough team defence of Springwood so far. Springwood have kicked two goals for the quarter. Uh, Caloundra haven't kicked a goal, but they, see, they feel as though they're probably two goals in front for the quarter. And uh, it just comes back to the doggedness of Springwood holding them out. And you can't fault the desire of uh, Caloundra to really have a crack. It's Jaden Turner. Uh, showing, epitomising what Calounds was about this afternoon. Really having a, a crack, doesn't want to give up the ghost. Dive, received a free kick in return. Kelleher underrun it. Thompson got his hands in there and uh, cut it off with a little deft little touch. And he finds his teammate there in Sponic across half back. Sponic being really good, uh, Jack, across half back. Just stopped every, every forward thrust pretty much and, and getting plenty of the ball and driving it long on most occasions. He kicks it out to uh, the outer wing there. Looking for his teammate there. Can't quite find him. Gets wrapped up in a, a Caloundra tackle. And uh, come by says play on. Kelleher overruns it. Can't quite grab it. It's Springwood again now with a quick little hands, quick little give. He goes it forward. They're looking for, uh, looks like Nick Proud running onto this one. Found some space. He finds a free one. Howes, you won't catch him in a hurry if he's free. He kicks it forward to Ran Hooper, his teammate, uh, across half forward. And Hooper, who fancies himself, Jack, as a, as a pretty long kick of the footy, young, uh, young Ran, or not so young Ran. Um, and, and for no, uh, and so he should, because he's always been able to kick it nicely and long. Uh, if you think back to those Lions games when Ran used to run onto the loose football at the Gabba and kick those long, flashy goals. Well, he gets a chance here in a little grand final in the, uh, in the final throws of his career as he runs in. He's going to shoot from 52, 53 metres. It's a nice-looking left foot kick. The breeze gets it a bit and just pushes it across the face for the one behind. And uh, Springwood, eight goals, 11, 59 lead. Caloundra, 2-8, 20. It's a 39-point ball game, 25 in, Jack. Taking it away. Caloundra going in short, but a goal is a lovely high mark and a good mark on the outer flank there. He's all about 45 metres out from goal. I didn't quite pick up who that was. It might be Keeble, but your, your binoculars yeah. might be better than mine, Look, it is Keeble, yep. As I said, he's been a bit of a live wire this quarter. Had a really consistent season and uh, certainly played well um, leading, yeah, throughout the season. So Keeble will be about 45 metres out. Baines pushed himself to the goal square. Um, there's uh, big Max Jacobson, the big ruckman for Calandria, pushes himself down there just to see if he can get a hand on it, but he was feeling confident that he could make the distance. Gives himself run. It's a nice drop punt kick. Uh, will it make the distance? I'll tell you what, as they're pretty happy with it. And Keeble has kicked it. He's kicked their ninth goal. A great goal there to Keeble. That is his third for the day. And that's a um, Jake Keeble. So between Keeble and Ross, uh, they've been a potent forward line today. 9, 11, 65 Springwood. Leading Calandra 2, 8, 20. A 45 point uh, lead into the uh, time-on period of the third term, Danny. Yeah, look, it's, uh, if there was a nail in, in the coffin this afternoon to be nailed, I reckon we might have almost seen it uh, right there, Jack Barry, 27 minutes into this third quarter. Keeble, second goal for the quarter, third for the game. It was a great kick too, probably one of the better kicks for goal, outside 50 or just on the 50 with that fluky breeze. A terrific kick. And he's got a great young future, Jake. Uh, just a 21, 22-year-old, been a local Springwood junior, He's been uh, probably the, the most promising rising star, you would say, out of that footy club. And a terrific uh, finish for him as the siren rings to end the uh, end of the, uh, the Div, 1 third, Div 1 grand final third quarter. Springwood Pumas, 9-11-65 lead. Caloundra, 2-8-20. It's a 45-point ball game at three-quarter time at Hickey Park, a la Energy, I Energy Oval. And uh, Jack... It's going to take a minor miracle, but we're going to love to come back after the break and give uh, and give everyone a rundown and see if a miracle can can uh, come about from the Calandra Panthers after three quarter time. <laughs> 